Yeah! Look at that fucking image! <laughs> Lucas, sell a video game with one fucking screenshot. It's that one. He's just plowing a zombie's head with a fucking CRT. Can you think of a video game where, like, one of the, like, the promotional images just sums up exactly what the feel of a game is that well? Um, I mean, maybe Resi 4 with the chainsaw guy. Maybe, but that's more like selling the tone. Yes, true. That's more selling the tone again. But like, if you you look at that image of Frank fucking West swinging a TV as hard as he goddamn can, <laughs> that has, like, infinite zombies around him, mm -hmm. that is the game. That is, yeah. So, yeah, well, folks at home, welcome to Dead Rising. Not a full playthrough. No. So we're going to start doing some more one-offs on our channel, aren't we, Lucas? We are. That has been the plan uh, for the last couple of weeks, yeah. And I will, by the way, also just say Doom. That Doom image of him just holding up. Yeah, oh, that. yeah. Fuck it. I thought you were saying, like, let's play Doom. No, like, no, no. Doom I'm here. just saying that image of Doom before, like, every one of the comments comes yeah. at me. Yeah. The, yeah, the, the, idea. the Demon Slayer. <laughs> and the idea is, is to play, it's like, you know, a snippet of a game that mm -hmm. we don't necessarily want to do a full playthrough of for reasons we'll no doubt discuss um, during the next hour or so. Yeah. But I still want to talk about and play a little bit on the channel. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I want a taste of it, but I don't want the full experience because I... a lot of games just have very poor parts for, like, doing Let's Plays of. Dead Rising, especially with the time systems. But yeah. I fucking adore this. I love it so much. This is so strong. It's one of the earliest Xbox 360 games. Isn't it? This is one of the games that made me buy an Xbox 360. Um, yeah, it might have been a launch game. I'll do some chat for ch fact some checking, <laughs> chat fecking. Yeah, yeah, I'll do. I'll do some uh, fact checking. And this we'll, is one like, of those you just go where, ahead and like, yeah. Well, no, we get stories. But this is one of those games where, um, like, they didn't anticipate HD. Oh, look at that! Look at that they fucking really classy did. fade. Where well, it was, the text was too small for people to read on regular TVs. Yeah, because it was, it was I had doing that. just like a crappy old CRT at the time and I couldn't read anything. Yeah, that's how old this game is. It was released during a time where HD TVs and plasma TVs were not yet ubiquitous. Anyway, start game, 72 hour mode. God, can you imagine taking out 72 hour mode? <laughs> taking out, like, you know, the thing that makes the game fucking interesting. But it's weird because I was one of those fans of Dead Rising that went, why can't I just play without this fucking time limit? And as soon as I played Dead Rising without the time limit, I realised why. I was like, no, Capcom were 100% right. I was, well, I hold my hands up. Yeah, I was it's wrong. Not, it's not fun as a sandbox game. No. Just the moment you're given infinite freedom, it feels super limited. In that mm -hmm. weird way. Also, yeah, Frank West! Uh, yeah, apparently it came out in 2006, so a year after the Xbox 360. Yeah. It's one of the games that made me buy it. And I Jack love that. Shit. Oh, character, uh, the population of the town, 53,584. Exactly how many zombies are in the game. It's not how many there is, because there's infinite. But if you kill that many, you get an achievement. Oh, I thought I li I thought they just stopped spawning them after that. No, that's like... Oh, okay, that it's just it the achievement. Yeah, you get an achievement. And the only way to get it is to drive the car backwards and forwards for the entire game. Yeah. <laughs> All you have to do is immediately uh, go to the parking lot and just drive just up and down. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes yeah. roping it off. Alright, so now let's be a photojournalist. <laughs> I don't know what the buttons are. Yeah! Okay, we've got zoom. So, Oh, perfect, thank you. So let's be photojournalist, man. And you can get a couple of pretty good shots when you're doing this. Like, where is the Pokemon Snap style Dead Rising spin off? <laughs> Oh, God! Oh, Lucas. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Go on, mate. Yeah! You can do it. Go on. Kind of Go on, mate. Oh, oh, oh he's, look at this. Oh, he's doing it. You know what, Carl? I think this guy's going to make it. He's good. He's oh, totally God. all right. Start doing a fight. Oh, look at that. Is That's that a five hit combo. Me? He's showing off his smash move set. Is this what you can <laughs> pictures of? Uh, yeah, it is. Watch. I need to wait for the exact moment he's about to die, though. <laughs> I need it. I need. I need to see the pain and like suffering in his heart. Oh, do it! Oh god, this is it. Oh, I need oh. the exact. Ah! Oh. I love as well. I don't actually know that they're zombies. Look. Yeah. What a strong opening mission! I'd say this is one of the stronger opening missions from this gen. It's so fucking probably just yeah. 
good at setting the tone. I was going to say it's a real tone setting. That oh God, is a rude. rough shot. <laughs> Lucas, photos taken moments before disaster. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, like, if that, in that situation, would you jump? Um, I honestly don't know. Fair enough. I, I don't know if I have it in me to do that. Yeah, that's the issue. And but that's... you also know that the other side of the coin is just getting ripped apart by zombies. There's also the thing as well of, you know, some of the cons I'd fuck up all them zombies with my bare hands. No, you wouldn't. No, not at all. Like, you'd, be, you'd be guy in car shitting his pants. <laughs> we all would be, yeah. Yeah, we all would be. Not, most of us would be fucking dead without we know it. I, yeah. As well, Lucas, we continue the trend on my channel of another game set during a fucking <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> And Carl, I will say, yeah, uh, 2008 Dead <laughs> Rising won a copyright case against George A. Romero. You can't own that no, idea. I, I know that it's his fucking film, but at the same time, it belongs to culture now. You're the reporter, aren't you? Yeah. Now he works fucking fast. You... <laughs> Is this guy working for TMZ or something? Yeah, God. I'm freelance. Yeah, it's, oh, I love freelance. I love getting paid nothing for doing all the work. <laughs> So, you know he's getting paid five dollars for this oh, article. Anyway. Well, he's freelance, isn't he? He wants, to get, he wants his big break. No, he's getting paid an exposure. An exposure to does, fucking zombies. What did does Frank West have one of like the best um, uh, like character arcs of? Well, he becomes a celebrity in Dead Rising 2. Because obviously he broke the story of the zombies. Mm -hmm. And then he becomes washed up because he spends it all. <laughs> and he has to, he has to like wrestle zombies on game shows. Oh, God. Extreme, in my opinion. Because, uh, yeah, isn't Dead Rising 4, like, as much as we shot on that version of Frank, isn't he, like, just a washed-up teacher like or something? Uh, yes. Like, and then he goes quiet. back into journalism. He goes back to Willamette, where it all started. Because they... Like, as if that's the thing. Like, this is supposed to be, like, a, an homage to George Romero's thing. Mm -hmm. like, the whole point of his film. Like, he said yeah. himself multiple times when they ask so him, you just tell me what would you do in a zombie outbreak? So I don't care. I, mm. I, because the films are not about the zombies. It's about people's yourself. response to the zombies. Yeah. I, and they ask him, like, so how did the zombie apocalypse start in your movies? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's supposed it's to be left ambiguous. And then they explain too much in this. They do, yeah. And I much prefer the, like, the ending of Frank gets in, takes a few photos and escapes with a few survivors. Mm -hmm. I don't like that like, you uncover a vast conspiracy. No, like, no, I don't like that at all. Because then it ruins the mystery of what happened. Yeah. So that's the thing as well, like, um, loads of people complain about this game. Oh, it's too hard to complete on a first run. You're not supposed to complete it on a first run. The idea no. is you're supposed to replay it multiple times. That is the entire premise of the game. And right. the game had like eight to 16 different endings. I can't quite remember the number. Yeah, it was a canon true ending if you and, do everything perfectly. And yeah, and here. there's like endless mode and extra days. And there's yeah. so much replayable and extra content and... It seems so weird that people legit bitch that they couldn't see everything the game had to offer in Carl, gamers are upset. Yeah. It's super lame as well, because the game's really fun to just keep going back and forth. Ooh. And I'm not sure about you, but I absolutely hate what Dead Rising became when they start introducing combo weapons. No, I adored that in Dead Rising 2, but that was the limit for me of the series. Okay, because I greatly dislike the combo weapons, because like, the thrust of this game, at least for me, was it's like... All those people talk, what do you do in a zombie apocalypse? Yeah. Survive. And then you can go, and you're like, you get to the point where you're fucking throwing dishes and plates mm -hmm. and whacking, like, um, uh, zombies with, like, potted plants. Yeah. You that's, go into Dead that's Rising 2 and you've got fucking samurai swords and lasers and shotguns. Oh, come on! Half the fun is, like, fighting with improvised weaponry. I think that's still the most fun the game can be, yeah. And I don't like the fact that the combo weapons overtake that. But I do so enjoy powerful. some of the combo weapons in themselves. Like, I think my favourite moment in this was just, oh, running around and realising you can put, like, um, the, the the silly heads on zombies and shit like that. You could do it in the next one, but it became just too farcical. It did. There was, like, there was a black comedy camp aspect to the original Dawn of the Dead, mm -hmm. which this game captures like flawlessly, in my opinion. And then the second game, they just they lean too much into the dumber aspects of it. They do, and I I like both games for different reasons. Like I like Dead Space Two to be a stupid, over the top comedy co op game, mm. whereas this, as you say, is a bit more like dark humor. It leans too much into like the. Fucking get chain attached chainsaws to a motorcycle. It's for fuck's sake. Yeah. 
I want the zombie survival game. Yeah! Also, Xbox 360, let's go. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here. You can get a couple of really good shots. You can. Um, but, um, yeah, I do agree that this is my favourite still, and the games just take a terrible arc downwards. Yeah, look at it. Let's get the action shot of this fucking hero. <laughs> no genre. It's going to get me a fucking pullet tonight. Yeah. I do enjoy the fact that he's just stood there with one hand lazily pressed against the door. Like, like, yeah, it, what, what, what is he actually doing to stop it? <laughs> yeah. And do you know what? Let's go find the guys off Reddit. Yeah, so this is the guy who sat there like, I'm going to fuck up all the zombies. I'm so tough. With his anim literally with a fucking anime shirt on lock. <laughs> fucking, yeah, member of the fucking Scorpion Black Dragon crew. Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? And I hate this. I fucking hate this. I don't want a story in this game. Yeah. I wish the objective was just survive. Mm -hmm. I really wish the objective was just survive like, for as long as possible. If it was, just figure out that zombies are a thing, get some good pictures, and get the fuck out. So the whole point of like the George Romero movies is like it's not about uncovering the um, uh, the mystery. It's just survive. That's the mission. Mm -hmm. Another mission. That's the whole point. If they want to survive. Oh yeah. This is exactly like real life as well. Reopen the schools. That oh, dog. God, is that, that dog. <laughs> that demon dog. Don't save that one. I'm not gonna lie though. If I saw Cade in that situation, I'd probably yeah, do what would. this woman would do. But you could say as well like. This is not realistic. How many people have we got screaming to reopen schools right fucking now? Exactly. Run. It's the hero. Quick! Move! Get over here! Everyone! Move this way! Quick! To the This stairs. hero. Move. He's the only one that's making any sort of sense. Here's Although, thing at like, this point, get to the stairs. It's like, ah. Yeah. But, um... I have tried. I've played this game a lot. I fucking adore Dead Rising. Yeah. It is literally impossible to save anyone. You can get, like, Joe, later in the game when you get, like, the superpowers. Mm -hmm. And you can, like, pick people up. I have grabbed people, put them over my shoulder, and dragged them upstairs. They still die. Oh, really? Yes, they still... There is no way to save anybody here. So, fuck it. Let's get some photos. And look who died straight away. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, but, yeah, Frank West becomes a monster when you level him up to get, I think, level 50. Yeah, he's unstoppable. Yeah, and he's disemboweling people. Oh, no, there, he's still alive. He's not well, doing mate. anything, though. So the zombies are, like, programmed to go for me, because they, they can tell where the I enjoy went. the fact that he's backing up into the zombies. Though. Yeah, he wants to do it. Go on. What you got? We should watch him die. Well, he's not gone, because the zombies go for me. Oh, Valley, no! No! <laughs> Ah, no, Frank, don't be a hero. I'm gonna try. Oh, he's nom, picking nom, up the fuck of me. Stop throwing some fucking. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, she deserves to die from the lack of self defense. Like, Alan, he's programmed to just stand still because his wife's dead. He's just sad, look, he's given up. She's fair enough because fuck it, his wife's dead. Exactly, yeah. And um, you can kill every zombie in here. Um, you can. So, like, uh, one of the. Um, if you want, you can run straight upstairs, or you can die, and it's the only time in the game you can die and not, and not game over. Oh, right. Because if you die here, you get rescued. It's the one time you get time. Mm -hmm. Here's the secret everybody knows. If you can get to the center of this crowd here, there's a shotgun. You it is nice how shot. underpowered guns are in this game. There we go. Oh. <laughs> that is going to be the New York Times material, <laughs> right? Oh, God! Oh, no, Carl. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Lucas, escape commands. Oh. And I think that sums up how much um, people underestimate slow zombies. Yeah, because like, it's so easy to get overwhelmed. Yeah. Right, the moment you let your guard down or stop, yeah. it, you're, you're dead. You're That's the thing as well. Like, people always talk about, oh, I could take out this one zombie. It's because they're really slow. Have you ever tried moving dead weight? Yeah. How fucking yeah. heavy is dead weight? So a full-grown ass zombie is going to be really that. hard to push off your body. And I imagine there's eight of them. Yeah. And that's one of the things I don't like about the later Dead Rising is you feel too powerful. The zombies don't actually feel like a threat. No, I played a bit of Dead Rising 3 just to see what it was like, and you're just plowing through zombies. Yeah, nothing feels like a threat. Mm -hmm. like you, there are times in this game where you legit know. feel scared, and you are hiding, and you are like swinging fucking bowling balls at people. Because it's the only thing you can do to survive. And I loved getting all the sport shop stuff. 
Yeah. And then obviously when you like level up and you've got all your skills, you're pretty fucking good. Just hitting golf balls at zombies, like, fuck it! But yeah, like, Dead Rising 4 pretty much proves oh, as long as those the, are in the mall. I guess, creative bankruptness of the, the series at this point. Yeah. I've, well, we've tried different things and everyone uh, still just says one is the best. I guess doing? we'll just try and repeat it. Why did they not remaster it? This game was pushed hey. by the new technology of the new gen. So why didn't you remake it or remaster it and then show us what the new new gen can do? Exactly. Show us the power of the, nice the Xbox Are series and the PS5 of just As getting 5,000 zombies in a fucking screen. West, do it. Photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? No, do not. This this is so obviously a government lady who's going to delete them all. And yeah, the, cross the zombie man. hordes would just diminish to a point of, uh, there's no point. Which made the game easier. Yeah. Guy do, something. do you know what I like as well? I like how fucking ugly Frank West is. The joke I make in a fact theme video about it is that he looks like my dad. Are you ready now for like the worst part of the entire fucking game? I, I would be, but I can't read what it's saying. It's Otis continually calling on the fucking radio. And then there was an achievement to never miss a call. You know, <clears throat> you are getting, you're getting your balls gnawed off by a zombie and he like gives you guff for missing his call. Yeah, because you got attacked by a zombie. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. I trust. I would fucking trust this man. Follow oh. me. There's only a few men in the world that can do that tech, yeah, including like, oh, yeah. Agent Forty Seven and like Solid slash Naked Snake. Yeah, so, yeah a lot of people every... probably forget how much of an RPG this game actually is. It's super fun. Right. Yeah, like, and you just get the idea is you're not supposed to complete it on a first run. You just keep going through and getting better and better. And better. You do. Yeah. It's basically, it's basically a roguelike. Yeah. There's a there's a bunch of like early game super good weapons you can get hold of. Like, there's a shotgun really early on. There is the, the samurai sword in the main plaza. But at the same oh, time, sake. the samurai sword's great, but it's not throwing gems at people. Paradise Plaza. But yeah, Let's I, go. I love just using all of the hilarious bad weapons. And that's what I think the game it excels when you're doing that. I fucking love this. It's so, fu it's so funny. He's just going to brain a zombie with a fire <laughs> extinguisher. <laughs> Do you know if this is like Dead Rising 2? He had like... Um, uh, the sledgehammer strapped to a fire axe. <laughs> or like the wheelchair with machine guns on it. Yeah. It's probably just a Oh, she sprained her ankle. Oh, no. gotta help Brad. That's not good in a zombie oh, outbreak. It's really not, is it? That is to the point where you just go, no. Come on. Like you, you, you get left hurt. behind and let me help. No, uh, have you seen The Walking like Dead, like, that. earlier seasons? Oh, yeah, when people have, like, a, a yeah, bad leg, well, and it's like, well, you're fucking done. Well, it's the Shane tech, isn't it? Yeah, just, like, if you leave him behind. Yeah. It's like, oh, no, he you know he, he tripped and died. It's like, did he? Kinda. Did no. he? Shane just like, no. <laughs> just use her as bait now, Frank. Uh, the sh like, because, you know what? He was a pragmatist, and that's why he survived as long as he did. Yeah. <laughs> and in a realistic version of that um, show, he'd be the one who'd be the main character. Look, exactly, because because he's like, fuck you, uh, I'm doing what I need to do to survive. He, he does everything shit. he needs to survive. But the issue is, he was a psychopathic idiot. And here's the story that I don't care about. And it annoys me that that's constantly on screen. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to... And you can never remove it. I just constantly am now reminded, like... A significant portion of my screen real estate is now back up. I'm just like, no, I again, want to just kill zombies. Again, just remake this game and put that as a thing. Like, oh, you know, for example, on PlayStation, when you swipe on the pad, it comes back up. Yeah, also, she gives me a gun and I have it in the game now, but I don't want my gun. Because fuck it, Lucas. Ah, zombies! Whoa! This is what we want. Yeah, this is the game right This here. is what we want. We don't want shotguns and pistols. We want fucking sickles that we drive people's heads off with.